In this video, I will be drawing geometric solids. Before I begin drawing my geometric solids, I want to divide my paper up. So I'm going to fold it in half. Trying carefully to match up my edges. Then I'm going to fold it in half again. Making sure I get nice creases. And then I'm going to fold it in half one more time. This will divide my paper up into eight sections. When I unfold my paper, I should have nice creases dividing up my paper so that I have eight rectangles that I can draw in. You don't have to do this, but I like having a nice equal space for each of my drawings. Next, I'm just using a regular number two pencil. I will probably use a blending stick later and an eraser just in case I have any mess ups or mistakes. I'll also be using a Sharpie. And then you can see I've got some geometric solids here that I will be looking at. I think I will begin with a sphere. I'll have to try to kind of hold it with my opposite hand here while I draw. Now, when drawing a circle, it's best to try to use your full arm to get the motion. Notice that I go over and over and over again pushing a little bit harder each time. That's probably the best way to get a nice even circle. Now you could find something to trace, but if you want to practice circle drawing and getting better at drawing a circle, it's best to kind of use this technique. Draw with your arm and shoulder instead of your hand and fingers. Now for this sphere, I'm going to add a curved line in the front and a dashed line in the back to show the, that the circle isn't flat like a pancake, but has form and is a sphere. Next, I'm using a cube, and I'm going to start with the shapes. So the cube has squares on all sides, so I'm going to make a square that's a little bit to one side of my area. Then I'm going to add a dot right up in the middle and above the center here. And then try to kind of match up so my square is about the same size. And then I'm going to add diagonals to connect to those dots from each of my corners. I'm going to add a vertical and horizontal line and now I'm going to make the dash line to show the area that we can't see. Next, I'm going to make a pyramid that has three sides, has a triangle on the bottom. To do this, I'm going to make a straight line down and I'm going to make two diagonal lines coming up and connect those to the top of my pyramid. Now the dashed line would be behind, connecting those two points from the back. Next, I'm going to do a cylinder to draw a cylinder, I am going to make kind of an oval or elliptical line for the top and for the bottom. I'm trying to make them about the same size and then I connect them with straight lines. I add a curve line on the bottom and then I'm doing the entire elliptical shape on the top making a dash for the part that you can't see. I will be tracing these in Sharpie, so if you're having a hard time seeing my pencil, we can do that. Hopefully that'll help. All right, here is a pyramid with four sides. 
So it has a square on the bottom. This one's a little bit trickier to draw. I'm going to start with a point on the top, a point that's a little bit to the left on the bottom, and then the right one goes a little bit wider. So I make it's a slight diagonal line, a very diagonal line, and a very, very diagonal line. So that, and then there's one that's a dashed line kind of in between, so that the bottom shape is a square. We'll add a dashed line here and a dashed line here. And remember, I will be tracing these with Sharpie if you can't see my dashed lines super well or if you need to catch up. You can also pause my video at any time if I'm moving too fast. Next is a cone. Cone has a circle on the top, so I'm going to make it look more like an ellipse, so a smashed circle basically. And then it comes down to create kind of a triangular shape to a point. Fairly simple. Next I want to do a rectangular prism, which is very similar to the way we draw a cube, except you start with a rectangle. And the rectangle can be any size. I'm going to make mine long vertically. I'm going to add points to show where my next areas of the rectangle connect. Add my diagonal lines just like I did my cube and connect them with vertical and horizontal lines. Then you can use dashed lines to make the areas that you don't see. Also that diagonal there. I did not do that diagonal on the cube, so you can add that to your cube as well. Last but not least, let's see. I don't have another shape in my little set of geometric solids. So instead, I think I will do a what's called triangular prism. And so this has two triangles that are the same size, and then you can connect them with lines, like so. This is a triangular prism. Okay, just so that you can see these a little bit better, I would like to trace them with Sharpie. So I'm gonna go around my sphere here by starting with the outside circle shape, but then to give it form, I'm adding a line that goes in the front and then a dashed line in the back. For my cube, I am tracing the front square and then I will add the diagonals and then my back two lines of my square with the diagonal or the dash line showing what you can't see. Now I did forget the diagonal for the dash lines. So you can always add that in too. Here is my pyramid that has three sides. And those are the sides that you can see and I'll add the little dash line for the part that you can't. Here's my cylinder. We're looking at it from above, so you can see the ellipse on the top of the cylinder, the circle part on the top. But on the bottom, we would only see the bottom curve, and then we'll put a dashed line for the part that you can't see. Probably the hardest shape here is the pyramid with four sides, because this has to be a slight diagonal, and this has to be a slight diagonal. We'll connect to the bottom. Notice one is longer than the other. And then we're adding a dashed line in between those lines and trying to make it look somewhat square shape along the bottom. The cone, we have an ellipse on the top and it connects down to a point on the bottom. 
the rectangular prism has a rectangle on the front face. And then I like to add the diagonals, connect with a horizontal line and a vertical line. And then you can add the dashed lines for the parts that you cannot see. And the triangular prism has two triangles connected by lines. You can see it makes a parallelogram on the side of the shape. And we'll connect the parts that you can't see with dashed lines. All right, I hope you enjoyed practicing your geometric solids. If you'd like to see how to shade them, please check out my videos on how to shade a sphere and a cube and a pyramid um, and a cylinder, and you can practice shading them as well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.